aircraft arms weight and moments. Weight is normally measured in pounds. When weight is removed from an aircraft, it is negative, and when added, it is positive. Arm. That's the distance of the load from the datum. It's uh, where we're actually putting the load, how far away is that from the datum, and it's measured in inches. And uh, as we've said, some helicopters have datums in different positions, so it can be a positive or negative number. The R-22, for example, if we were going to deal with loading a passenger, the distance of the passenger seat's um, arm from the datum is 78 inches, and we find that in the POH. Moment. Moment is a combination of the weight and the position of a load, and it's calculated by taking the weight times the arm, and it's measured in pound inches, and again it can be positive or negative. So for example, um, to work out uh, the position, uh, sorry, the moment of a passenger, we would take their weight, say they're 200 pounds, and then we'd time them by, times it by the arm, which in the R22 is 78 inches, and that would give us the moment. Okay, so here we have a quick moment example. Uh, we have 200 pounds, which is 10 inches from the fulcrum. So its weight is 200 pounds, its arm is 10 inches, 200 times 10 equals 2,000 pound inches. Now, if we look on the right hand side, we have a heavier weight, but it's closer. So we're going to kind of look at how weight and arm combined makes a difference to the moment. So now we have a 400 pound weight, but it's only five inches away. So there's less uh, leverage. So 400 times a five inch arm comes out 2,000 pound inches, which is exactly the same as 200 pounds at 10 inches. Datum. Datum is an imaginary line. It's established by the manufacturer and it's used as a uh, reference point for measuring uh, when we're working out loading positions for weight and balance. Uh, in the R22, that imaginary line or datum is 100 inches forward of the main rotor shaft. And that means that all our calculations will be dealing with positive numbers, which is easier, easier for the math. And if you look at this example here, we have other datum examples in other helicopters uh, and the one at the top is the datum is actually on the mast so you've got positive and negative numbers to deal with depending which side of that datum you're working with and then the helicopter below that which looks like a long ranger that datum starts at the very front of the helicopter structure main part of the uh, the nose there so any loading of that helicopter will be a positive only and then that one at the bottom is is where the R22 datum is as we said is about 100 inches for is 100 inches forward of the uh, main rotor mast and dealing with R22 horizontal data data will always be positive okay so if you want more information you can look in the Romerson R22 POH or pilot operating handbook there look in the limitations and weight and balance sections you can also look in the rotorcraft or helicopter flying handbook in the weight and balance section and then ASA Helicopter Oral Exam Guide and ASA Prep for the Private both have weight and balance sections for you to uh, work on. Uh, the FAA also has a really pretty good aircraft weight and balance handbook that you can download and print for free if you go to www.faa.gov forward slash library slash manuals you'll find that and many other manuals in there. And then finally I'd recommend you just practice doing weight and balance problems. There's plenty of these questions in your written uh, you will have to do a manual one probably uh, for your check ride. Um, so yeah, get, get, get used to this, get familiar, and uh, see you on the next video.